my friend Christian gave me this little shooting box that I've been using for years and it's time to replace. So I decided to do a quick video to show you how I'm gonna build it and I will improve a little bit on top of what I learned. So stay tuned and let's roll the tape. For this uh, project, the one thing that you will need is a tote, plastic tote and rubber mulch, which I will reuse most of the rubber mulch that I have already on my old box. But this box, as you can see, is uh, really beat up. The first thing that we need to do is to cut a hole on this lid. And for that, you can use a Dremel or a very sharp knife. I will go the cheap way, so I'm not gonna use any power tool. I will do it with a knife and I will show you right away how to do this. If you are regular in the channel, probably you know this knife. This is my hunting knife, my wanna finisher. I've been working on this knife a lot. I really like it. It's nothing fancy. It's, I think I pay like 20 bucks, but I really love uh, working on knife. This knife is really sharp. So it is scary, scary sharp. So that's why I trust this to do this part of the job. So I will just open a hole around the lid. There we go. Something like this, that's a step number one. If we were building the original box, that's everything we need to do. Just put rubber mulch in here, then put a cardboard on top of the mulch and you are already shooting. I realized that with time, the mulch inside, while you're shooting might, might fail. I mean, you may be opening a hole inside the mulch and it's possible that you hit the bottom. And if that happened, this is gonna be the result. You can see, you may go through your box. You see, I have some holes on the other side. How I'm gonna fix that? This is a piece of aluminum. So what I will do now is I will cut a piece and I will hit it with a hammer so I will make it flat and I will position this on the bottom. So the idea is when I hit the bottom, I will, I will have something that I can hear. So I go and just move the mulch around and keep shooting. All right, let's do this step number two. This is gonna be the only improvement that I have so far. I'm no complaint with this box. It's really working wonderful for what I do here. With the metal cheek cutted and flat, I just have to put it in the bottom, like so. So hopefully this will prevent a pass through. And so now the only thing that is uh, pending is filling this with raw mulch. Let me show you a little trick how I sift this because I don't put it in an actually sifter. So I just put the old, you see all the ammo here, they go to the bottom. So I just put the old material here and just mold. So by doing this, the lead goes down. And then I just pick the material from the top. I think this is enough. So I would just throw, I would just throw this. You can see all the, all the pellets here and the bottom. And after topping off the box with fresh mulch and cutting you some cardboard, you just have to place one in place. I like to push it a little bit, put the lid, and there you go. You have your brand new shooting box ready to be shot. This is something that if you have 10, 20 yards, you can build yourself very easy and it's gonna be very quiet. Hopefully you like it. As always, be safe and see you in the next video. So if you are still wondering if after cutting all of these cardboard, the plastic lid, the nice steel shaving, 